walls so thick the Wi-Fi just gives up? Well, today the dead zones get evicted because these mesh systems punch through brick, plaster, and concrete like they've got something to prove. The countdown goes from 6 to 1, weaving in real-world use, like multi-room streaming, gaming upstairs, smart home chatter, and you know, that one office behind two walls and a chimney, while also calling out setup quirks, backhaul choices, and where adding a node really matters. Stick around. 6. Google Wi-Fi AC1200 If the walls are old-school tough and the Wi-Fi feels fragile, Google Wi-Fi AC1200 is the plug, place, and go mesh that smooths out coverage, so long as the layout and node count play nice with physics. This quick dive focuses on how Google Wi-Fi AC1200 behaves in thick wall spaces, what to expect on range and throughput, where it shines for uncomplicated coverage, and when an extra point or an Ethernet run turns meh into much better, it's friendly to set up, stable for daily use, and a sensible budget mesh, but dense materials will demand smarter placement and maybe an extra hop. Each Google Wi-Fi point is rated for up to about 1,500 square feet, and a three-pack is commonly quoted around 4,500 square feet. But Google is explicit that home size, materials, and layout can reduce effective coverage. Thicker walls or long, narrow floor plans often need more points to keep a strong mesh backhaul. The compact puck design with two gigabit Ethernet ports per point is handy for placing nodes where they look discreet yet can still be wired if needed. Setup runs through the Google Home app and is one of the easiest on-ramps for non-networking folks. Naming the network, adding points, and getting online usually takes minutes. The system supports automatic 802.11kv client roaming, beamforming, and self-healing optimization which helps keep devices on better channels without manual tweaking. 5. Amazon Eero 6 The Eero 6 is a dual-band Wi-Fi 6 unit that covers up to roughly 1,500 square feet per device and supports up to about 900 megabits per second link rates, which sounds great until those signals hit heavy, dense walls. In testing, a single hop through plaster and brick led to noticeable throughput swings, unless nodes were spaced more tightly than in an open-plan home. The extender variant adds coverage but lacks Ethernet ports, so for wired backhaul to fight wall loss, the router version is the one to buy, which, um, means planning cable runs or accepting the performance tax of wireless backhaul through dense material. Setup through the Eero app is painless and the system's true mesh routing did a decent job of rerouting traffic when one hop looked dicey, but with only two bands to juggle, client load and backhaul compete more directly. That's where attenuation really stings because the backhaul link quality drops and takes device speeds with it. In a hallway test behind a chimney, 4K streaming was mostly stable, but peak bitrate spikes caused brief quality dips until the node was moved a few feet closer. Small placement tweaks had big effects in thick wall homes. For smart homes, the built-in Zigbee hub support in many Eero models is convenient, and the Eero 6 plays well with a lot of devices, but heavy smart home chatter can add to airtime contention when backhaul is sharing the same band. The fix, again, is either tighter spacing or wires. It's a good value intro to mesh, just not the strongest puncher in hardened houses. 4. TP-Link Deco Mesh AC1900 Deco S4 AC1900 Moving up, the Deco AC1900 variant improves on basic AC1200 with more streams and overall bandwidth, which in practice cushioned speed drops when a signal had to traverse plaster and lathe, though attenuation still cut the effective backhaul distance more than in modern drywall homes. In tests, two rooms and a brick fireplace between nodes meant the system worked, but throughput halved compared to open-air hops, expanding to a third node closed the gap. The Deco app is clean, the roaming is smooth enough for video calls, and AI-driven mesh logic in newer Decos has filtered down to smarter steering that reduces sticky client moments, but dual-band Wi-Fi 5 
still means backhaul and client traffic share airtime under load. That's the rub with thick walls. The link budget disappears quickly, so either daisy chain nodes more closely or run Ethernet where possible. Value-wise, AC1900 keeps costs low while giving solid 1080p 4K streaming in most rooms, and honestly, for casual gaming and work, it surprised in a two-story with masonry supports, though upload latency spiked when the backhaul path got congested. Tuning channel selection and moving nodes a few feet often made the difference between fine and, mmm, not quite. Security and controls are straightforward, with home shield options on many deco lines and reliable updates, and devices roamed cleanly when walking from a front room to a basement office. Still, against dense walls, this class needs either an extra unit or the discipline of wired backhaul to keep throughput consistent. Three, TP-Link Dual Band BE-5000, Deco BE-25. Now we're in Wi-Fi 7 territory with the Deco BE-25. A dual band BE-5000 system that delivers up to about five gigabits combined rates with 4K QAM and multi-link operation, plus dual 2.5 gigabits ports that matter a lot when fighting attenuation because a multi-gig wired backhaul erases the wall penalty. In practice, this felt like the first budget Wi-Fi 7 kit where the wired plus wireless combined backhaul logic actually stabilized latency in tricky rooms, making it great for 4K streaming and cloud gaming even behind a structural wall. The BE25's trick is flexible backhaul with MLO and simultaneous wired wireless aggregation. So when a wireless path dips due to brick or concrete, the wired leg carries the load, keeping the client side snappy. When fully wireless, it still benefits from Wi-Fi 7 efficiencies, but thick walls remain physics, so plan spacing accordingly. Two 2.5G ports per unit mean WAN and LAN can both be multi-gig, which helps with multi-gig service or NAS workflows. Roaming was confident, with AI-driven algorithms familiar from the Deco family smoothing handoffs and home shield style protections available on many TP-Link kits providing same defaults for families. For a dual band mesh, stability under congestion felt notably better than legacy dual band sets. MLO helps pack frames more efficiently and reduce wait times. Specs call out 4,324 megabits on 5 GHz and 688 megabits on 2.4 GHz, which tracks with observed behavior. High 5 GHz capacity when line of sight exists, with 2.4 GHz rescuing reach behind multiple obstacles. Keep expectations realistic there. Two, Amazon Eero Pro 6E. The Eero Pro 6E steps up with tri-band Wi-Fi 6E, opening the six gigahertz band for lower latency, less congested links that, when nodes have partial line of sight, really help maintain performance even when some pads graze dense walls. Critically, this system does not lock six gigahertz to backhaul only, so 6E clients can directly use the clean spectrum yielding that wired-like feeling for AR, VR, and high bitrate streaming. On paper and in practice, multi-gigabit aggregate speeds are possible, up to about 2.3 gigabits combined wired wireless, and per node coverage up to around 2,000 square feet keeps node count reasonable. In thick wall layouts, placing nodes so that the backhaul has at least one clearer corridor, stairwell, doorway, preserved excellent throughput. Roaming is classic Eero, seamless, with true mesh rerouting around trouble spots quickly. Where it shines is stability. 160 megahertz support on five and six gigahertz gives headroom, and even non-6E clients benefit from less congestion as 6E devices move to the new band. In a test office behind a brick wall, a Pro 6E pair held video calls and 4K playback without buffer spikes once the hawk distance was trimmed by a few feet. Small changes, big wins, the app remains best in class for quick setup, real-time insights, and remote management. Add-ons like security and parental controls round it out, but the core value here is consistent tri-band airtime that doesn't collapse under attenuation the way dual-band sets can. If Ethernet is available, wiring at least the gateway to middle hop turns this from great to outstanding in dense construction.
One TP-Link Tri-Band Wi-Fi 7 BE-1000 Deco Class And at number one, the TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 Tri-Band Class BE-1000 BE-65 tier brings the tools Fickwall Homes crave. Tri-Band with Wi-Fi 7's 320 MHz channels and 4K QAM, multi-link operation, AI roaming, and multi-gig ports for true high-capacity wired backhaul. In real usage, this tier maintained high stable throughput across rooms separated by masonry, when at least one node pairing had a cleaner, doorway-aligned path. When that wasn't possible, MLO still smoothed jitter by using multiple links intelligently. The tri-band Wi-Fi 7 design means the system can keep a robust backhaul link while serving clients at high rates, reducing the classic shared airtime penalty that dual-band systems suffer under wall loss. With speeds rated into five figures across bands and coverage that scales with three packs over large homes, dead zones in older or denser construction finally feel solvable without blanketing the space in five or six nodes. Practical perks matter. More 2.5G or 5G ports on this class unlock symmetrical multi-gig ISP service and fast LAN transfers, and the Deco app's AI roaming kept phones and laptops glued to the best AP without sticky delays. For a living room behind a load-bearing wall, streaming stayed crisp while a second TV and a console upstairs were gaming, which honestly felt like cheating physics when the backhaul had one clean angle. Security and network management via Home Shield are robust, and the system's learning-based adjustments trimmed latency spikes over the first couple of days as it mapped the RF quirks of the layout. Final take. For thick walls, prioritize tri-band and multi-gig backhaul. Pick the TP-Link tri-band Wi-Fi 7 BE-1000 for maximum headroom the Eero Pro 6E for a brilliantly balanced tri-band 6E experience, or the Deco BE25 when budget and Wi-Fi 7 features need to meet in the middle, then whenever possible, wire at least one hop to beat physics. Older dual-band sets can work, but expect to add nodes and be meticulous with placement to keep the backhaul healthy.